Hi everyone, this is Ben from Mercado. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a use case where an approval request is triggered through Salesforce by a sales rep and engaged with a team member in an external system like Slack, such as during a legal contract negotiation. So this is a common use case where a sales rep may need someone from an external system to interact with a certain request and approve of it. So let's imagine a sales rep is going through a contract negotiation and submits a request to the legal team where a Slack notification will appear and the general counsel can then choose to approve or reject of that notification. And this is all powered by Workato. Now, in this particular example, you can see here, I'm logged into Salesforce and I'm within the Google Enterprise Deal Opportunity. You'll notice myself as the sales rep can actually create a deal desk request directly to submit for an approval. Let's say this is a contract negotiation and there's contract red lines that I need my general counsel, in this case, Ryan, to approve of so that we can close by the end of the month. I'll select which specific request type this approval request is, in this case, contract terms. And depending on these different workflows in Salesforce, you can choose to have them interacted and supported through Slack. You'll see here that Slack has now submitted a notification for some contract red lines for Google, as well as any kind of metadata associated through that request. Now, keep in mind that this information is pulling directly from Salesforce, and you can even aggregate additional content from third-party systems. So I, as the approver, as you can see, I'm logged in as Ryan, will have more information about what that request is um, for. Now, as Ryan, if this looks all good, I can hit the approve button here. You'll keep in mind that um, with Workato, we can actually verify that the person hitting approve actually is Ryan. And so directly within Slack, Workato will say, hey, you actually haven't logged into Salesforce. I don't know if you're Ryan or not. And so we can verify what, whether that user is indeed the person that is supposed to be approving of that deal desk request based on the rules of the hierarchical structure of Salesforce. Once I hit allow, I'm now logged in as Ryan. I've select, uh, successfully connected. And you'll notice here that the deal desk request has now been approved. If I go back into Google, um, this Google Enterprise deal, I can click on that same initial request and see in the related activities that yes, indeed, that request has been approved. And notice that the timestamp has been reflected as such. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some additional use cases that can be supported through the same framework. We have the ability to support um, additional requests such as support escalations where you may have a, a customer support ticket that needs to be escalated to product. And so you may, have use, you may use different systems like Jira and Zendesk and need to be able to push that same information across multiple systems and have them interacted and integrated so that all parties involved are in sync. There are some additional use cases here, and if you have any additional questions, we are more than happy to set up a call and discuss uh, in further detail. So thank you all for your time.